Well, Jacko, uh, good conditions out there at the moment. Just run us through uh, how you went this morning. It's pretty hot out there, obviously. Uh, Stating the obvious, but um, we haven't really let up on training, which is which has been good. It's a fair focus for obviously Burjo and the coaching staff with Kenny to get a lot out of this week. Obviously, we know the conditions are not ideal. They're you know super hot for for a uh, professional athlete to run around in, but we've still got to get the job done. And we feel that this week's a, a good week for us to uh, advance on our fitness and advance on our uh, ball skills out there, which is good. Some of the young players probably haven't got many pre-seasons under their belt. How they cope? I think it's hard for everyone. Whether you've got Ten pre-seasons under your battle, you've got one. I think um, you know it makes it a lot harder when you've only got a little bit less of a, a running base underneath you. But you know all the young kids are, are holding up really well. Burjo's obviously managing them really well, and um, you know it's the effort that they're putting in out there. You know they might not be able to run as much as what someone that like Kane Corns who's done you know twelve pre-seasons, but the effort these young fellas are putting in is is super. Do you Oh, not not really. I mean, nowadays with professional football, it's all pretty pretty strict and, and pretty straightforward. We've got obviously the protocol of, of ice baths and beach and, and all the recovery tools are, are in place. So nothing really changes whether it's 45 degrees or it's, you know, 25 degrees. It's all pretty strict now. And, you know, you've got you to gotta recover really well after every session because you're, you're busting, busting your guts every time you're going out there, whether it's 20 degrees or it's, or it's 45. How's it compared to Dubai? Um, Dubai was a... A different heat. I mean, this this is a real, real strong heat. Dubai was obviously hot as well, but the humidity there is at, at a different level. Um, that's why we obviously went over there, and, and Burjo was very keen for our group to, to go over to Dubai and, and catch up on the rest of the, the the AFL. That probably got a little bit of a head start on us because you know we'll push back a couple of weeks. Um, but this heat's just as just as strong as what Dubai would be. Obviously, 45 degrees. You're not going to get much hotter than that around the world. You had the bandage on, obviously during the training. Is the knee yeah, I've had that bandage on for six years, so I don't think it's uh, it's going to change. I think uh, that's just the way it goes now. What about Sean Hart? Saw him out there. He's obviously joined the group not long ago. How's he settling? Yeah, he's, he's settling in. He's he's just uh, just finding his way, starting to get a bit of voice around around the boys. Obviously, for us as players, having a, a triple premiership player, you know, coming in with his experience and and wealth and the culture that they had as a football club, you know, they had a, a ruthless football club up at Brisbane Lions and. They do whatever they had to to win, and that's why they were such a powerhouse. So for us to grab that experience um, with Sean, I think it's going to be super for our group, and obviously the coaching staff is, is going to be help, able to help out a lot as well. If we go back 12 months, obviously you guys were coming off a pretty tough period into an exciting period for the club. Different dynamic now, coming off a, you know, a reasonably successful year? Um, it's a tough question. I mean, people people ask whether it's, it's different, but for us as a group, we still haven't, you know, got where we want to go we've still got a long way to go and I think us as a group we're not satisfied with what we dished up last year obviously we're very disappointed to to go out in that last game and um, probably thought we had a bit more to offer so for us it's just been about working hard um, you know improving on last year obviously we've set a good a good base from last year but you know if you're not winning the competition it, it means nothing so I mean for us it's just been about hard work this pre-season I think to date, we've been able to do it, but we've still got another, you know, few weeks to a month to, to really prep up before games start cranking up. Is it easy to notice the step you've taken? I'm obviously, like you say, you've still got a long way to go to where you want to get to. Can you notice the step you took last year? Yeah, I think you, you can notice. I think, um, you know, it'd be silly to say that, sit up here and say I can't notice any difference. I mean, the way the boys are training now, it's it, it's at a, a better level. Obviously, we're probably not elite yet, otherwise we'd be winning every week. But, um, you know, we're starting to climb towards there. We're training with a purpose now. We're not just going out there and running through the motions. We're really going out there to achieve something out of every session, which I think is probably the, the big thing that Kenny, the coaching staff, and then the group's really bought into. So what is the target then? Is that higher than six on the table then this season? Or? I don't think you, you put a, a number on it. I think you go out there to win every game that you possibly can. And, you know, we'll do that from, from week to week. It, yes, it sounds boring, but that's what we'll do. We've still got a pre-season to get through um, at the moment. We've still got another couple of months of, of pre-season before we head into the, the practice games. And then, um, you know, we'll be going out there every week to, to win every single game. How's the back line looking? Is there any guys you think there are a chance to sort of force their way in there this year? Yeah, I think uh, the back line's going really well out there at, at training. We, we're competing very hard. And, I think we've got some young kids coming through that are, are really pressing um, for spots, which is which is good because it's pushing everyone else around um, to get better. Which I think uh, that's when football clubs become good when the bottom tier players that are probably playing in the sandfall that are, are, are pushing the main group. And 
you get a real strong competitive uh, nature in the group and if you don't perform on the weekend then you won't play the week after. So who are some of those guys and people that wouldn't watch your players in the same Oh, probably uh, you've seen Homsch play a couple of games, but he's been performing really well um, after coming back from some some injury. Um, Tom Cleary, who's a, a young fella that no one's probably seen yet, but there's been a little bit of hype. He's training really well, um, and probably Jarman Impey, who's a, a first year drafty that we that we picked up. He's also been super and, and very impressive. So we've got a, a fair bit of depth down back, which is which is exciting. Just finally, mate, on the tennis, uh, Thanasi. I'm not sure if you got to watch him last night, but it seems like. Uh, Port sort of claimed him as one of their own. Yeah, have we? Yeah, he's uh, he come down and I think um, you know was was down at the club for a, a couple of days having a look at what we do. So I think we've sort of caught on to, to what he does and you sort of just grab that little bit of a bit of a connection and, and want to watch him because you know you've met him and if you've ever met anyone that's gonna gonna be playing in a different sport, we can learn off him and he obviously come here to learn a little bit about what we do as as professional footballers. So. Um, we'll be watching him through the, the whole um, Oz Open and, and supporting him, but like we did with Leighton, which was a little bit disappointing, we're also supporting him as well.